Okay, could you please start off by stating your name, classification, age, and major? Uh, my name is Stacy Chapman. Um, I am 19 years old. I am a junior, and my major is psychology with a minor in biology and art. Okay, Stacy. So could you tell me a little bit about what mental health means to you? Uh, mental health means how you hold yourself mentally. It's about... Um, it's about how you can process things, how you take on challenges, and just about how mentally mentally okay you are, whether you think, uh, whether how, how you're thinking. Okay, so do you think that mental health is something that's overlooked? And do you believe that um, more things should be done when it comes to mental health as far as the recognition of it? Most definitely mental health is um, overlooked, but... In recent years, um, mental health has become more of a um, popular topic to talk about just because so many people have been, you know, committing suicide or um, have drug abuse, uh, drug abuse, abuse deaths. Um, so now it's being talked more about and it's being put into high schools and colleges and stuff to so that people can understand, like, the importance of um, their mental health. Um, it is still overlooked, though. Um, I've done research um, for some of my projects and some of my psychology classes about um, mental health and how it's been overlooked and how um, the government doesn't fund it as much as it funds other, you know, programs, not programs, but other, um, say, for instance, like breast cancer. They don't fund it as much as breast cancer. And it's very important because your mental health is just how, how you take on life. Okay. Okay, so could you tell us a little bit about what you dealt with as far as mental health and how you overcame it? Uh, with my mental health, it started out with depression. Uh, my mental health, well, I was raped in high school, and so with that being said, it caused a lot of heartache and pain for me, and so I developed depression. And then with depression, usually comes along with anxiety, just, you know, anxiety being um, going to class, going to going outside, um, talking to certain people, just anything that you really can just, you know, just get anxious about. And so with that, I also then de um, developed PTSD. PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder, and you get that from any traumatic event, whether it be you're in a war, uh, your parents, you split up, or anything that can be traumatic to you. And, you know, traumatic events don't have to be traumatic to someone else, but if it's traumatic to you, then that's enough. Um, so that was depression, anxiety, and then PTSD. I dealt with that for a few, uh, for a year, and I was put on medicine for it, and um, it got a lot better. And then I was taken off of the medicine, and then when I got to college, you know, college is very stressful, so I um, developed, what did I develop? I developed psychosis. Um, it was, it was, for a number of reasons um, due to stress and I realized that tr stress triggers me very 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 much um, so with that I had the ups and the downs of that and not understanding who I was and where I was and the people that were around me and so they kind of realized my psychiatrist kind of realized okay she's having ups and downs where um, ups and downs where she's elated and where she's very depressed and so then my overall diagnosis to end with was bipolar disorder. Um, with bipolar disorder, it's not what you really think of. It's, um, it's you know, some sometimes I'm depressed and I just don't know why, and I'll be depressed for you know a good a good two weeks to a month, and then I'll be very very happy and I'll have a lot of energy and I'll talk a lot. And I'll do more risky, like, and be involved in more risky activities than usual. And so um, with that, I take medicine for that so that my mood is more mellowed out and I'm not just jumping off the walls or super low. And so with that being said, it's just, it's been a lot to deal with, but I'm, I'm doing it and I'm working it. And I'm a cheerleader. And so, like, with that being said, it's just I'm, I'm happy overall. Um, happy overall and I'm just trying my best every day and to making it to be to make my mental health the best that I can you know work with what I have
Okay. And why did you decide to join Behind the Smile? I decided to join Behind the Smile because I wanted other people to realize that it's okay not to be okay.